Hey guys, hope you had a fantastic week. If you are new to my channel, this is to let you know that I upload Northeast Indian recipes as well as my motorcycle and travel vlogs. Today we are going to cook a traditional classic Tripuri recipe which is called Muya Awandru. That's basically bamboo shoots with fermented dried fish and rice flour. This recipe is super easy to cook and we need two types of fish in this recipe. One is of course the fermented dried fish and the other one is smoked fish. However, I do not have smoked fish at the moment so I am replacing it with dried shrimps which is the closest. So now without further ado, let's check out the ingredients. Fresh bamboo shoots, ginger, fermented dried fish, dried shrimps, fresh green chilies, rice flour and salt to taste. Now let's start cooking. First take 1 litre of water in your pan and bring it to a boil. Now add your chopped bamboo shoots and cook until they are tender. Since I am using preserved ones, it will take about 15 minutes. Now add your slit green chilies, rinsed fermented dried fish, dried shrimps, finely chopped ginger and salt to taste. Open cook for a couple of minutes and stir occasionally in between. In the meantime, take the rice flour in a bowl and mix it with water to make a thick paste. Add this paste and keep stirring it continuously to avoid any lumps of the rice flour paste. Cover and let the awandru cook for 4 to 5 minutes. Once the gravy achieves your desired consistency, it's ready to be served and to go along with it I have chopped some potatoes and just deep fried them with turmeric powder and salt. So guys, what do you think about our Tripuri style uh, Moya Awandru? Do let me know in the comments. And this, uh, you know, combination of bamboo shoots with rice flour and dried fish is a quintessential comforting recipe that all tribes, 
you know across northeast india prepare and each of them have their own versions i have covered similar recipes in the past uh, one is the gaja khar which was uh, uh, which was a hajong recipe i'll put it on the cards up here so do check it out and now without further ado let me dig in but before i help myself with the rice i'm going to dig into this super delicious looking gravy this is one of my favorite since childhood and you know as soon as the bamboo shoot season is in which is around this time of the year we have it almost like two to three times in a week and uh, in uh, meghalaya we add uh, cooking soda or what is also known as khar mm. 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 the fermented dried fish which got completely dissolved into this rice flour gravy is just awesome and if you are a big fan of dry fish i would highly recommend this recipe please go ahead and try it out mm Mm. And as you eat, you can get the ginger, you know, uh, gingery flavor, and it's quite uh, nice to chew onto this tiny shrimps that we have added. I'm sure it will taste better with smoked fish. I'm definitely going to cover that dish as well as soon as we have some. Hmm. the bamboo shoot is so tender and it literally got melted in my mouth mm oh well i didn't uh, prepare any salad today because i thought this simple combination of two comforting dishes coming together was just going to be awesome who do not love potatoes right wow and uh, this was a complete oil free recipe and it's not fussy at all that's the best part about it So now I am going to mash my gravy with rice and also since uh, you know my chilies are not completely dissolved that's what happens in Bangalore it's hard water and despite of using filtered water vegetables uh, you know usually as well as lentils uh, does take significant amount of time mm wow you can get that fragrance out of the green chilies which is something to die for isn't it i know that i have chopped the bamboo shoots really chunky because this is what i thought will go since this is these these are all preserved ones but if you are making with fresh bamboo shoot ensure that you remove the sheet and then uh, take only the soft inner core and then boil it in water drain the water and just you know start with this recipe so that is something that i gave a skip mm mm wow the chilies mm and bamboo shoot mm also my dear friends I'm sure all of you have a similar you know bamboo shoots with dried fish recipe for your respective tribes I will expect to hear from you so do drop in those recipes oh, sorry about the background noise I don't know what's the rush 
Yeah, so where was I? Yeah, do share those amazing bamboo shoot with dry fish recipes. I'll be really happy to cover them on this channel. And you can email me on snigdasbioscope at gmail.com. Mm. I'm really enjoying this shrimps after a long time. And soon I'm going to upload naughty style dried shrimps chutneys. So how many of you love dried fish chutneys? Do let me know. Mm. The potatoes are so mushy. Mm. I really enjoy mashing this green chilies now. Which are just perfect for this. Cool rainy day. Wow. Just look at the bamboo shoots too. Mm. Simple meals like this can be so, you know, delightful and since uh, during the rainy season across Northeast India, the number of vegetables the, as well as fish that you get, we actually do not eat uh, freshwater fish around this time. Considering that the rivers are overflowing with all debris, so people tend to avoid the river freshwater river fish but we do have ponds so that we which really covers up so where what i wanted to say was uh, you know dry fish recipes are very commonly used uh, during the rainy season and these are some of the ingredients uh, that we uh, easily get in any village so it works beautifully and a lot of people have their own bamboo gardens and just to let you know if you are new to bamboo shoots you don't eat all the variety there's just uh, i think two or three types that we are allowed to consume the gravy is thickened so you can add additional water if you like it runny but traditionally we prefer it slightly thick yeah and uh, if you're not a glutton like me then uh, please ensure that you take less amount of rice whenever you are eating with uh, rice flour powders because uh, they themselves are quite starchy and filling and um, even after our lunch if we are hungry we just grab a bowl and put this gravy in and just start eating which is also quite good around like 3 30 p.m yeah mm. Mm. the shrimps are so crunchy mm. These are river shrimps, just to let you know. 
Yeah, and I got them around two or three months back. Quite lucky, I must say. Mm. There are plenty of dry fish recipes which I have uploaded on this channel. So putting the card here guys, go ahead and hit it so that you can check out the entire playlist. And also I must say that I'm a big fan of Tiprasa food. They're so simple yet so amazing and totally, you know, make you feel at home. Although I'm in Bangalore now, I've already... I wish I could... visit the place someday and the people are really amazing mm. and I must say that whenever I cook Tripuri dishes I get such good reviews that it elates my heart and you know I continue to hunt for recipes so if you have any Tiprasa recipe which you think I should cover on this um, channel which I have not yet please go ahead and share them again to sigdasbioscope and gmail.com you can also send me on uh, what do you call that Instagram yeah direct message or uh, you can use Facebook messenger mm. and any one of you who have prepared this uh, Tripuri recipes Kindly share those amazing pictures so, so that we can share it with the rest of the YouTube family. And I hope you are dropping into my Instagram as well. There's some amazing food as well as other things that I do which are uploaded. So go ahead and follow me if you enjoy them too. Ah, I need some aloo. So before I wind the video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Also don't forget to hit that bell notification and even if you are subscribed, please go and check if you have hit the bell notification because many of you are not getting you know updated whenever I upload new video and before we finish this video repeating again um, I upload every Friday evening India time around 6 p.m. and also I have started a new series where I'm going to cover food from around the world which are not going to clash with this series so go ahead and check them out too if you haven't yet also check out my motorcycle uh, and other travel uh, videos which we have uh, covered throughout India some of them were really amazing experience and we have also done a trip from Bangalore to Tura Meghalaya and back last year around September which was indeed a memorable journey so now without further ado I am going to say a bye now but don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up also consider sharing it with your friends and family on your respective social media pages <laughs>